Success coach, and I come every Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday at 12 o'clock noon to share business tips and mindset tips with you to help you win in life. My goal is to encourage and to inspire and to push you into your destiny. So chances are when you hop on, that's what you're going to get. I do encourage you to visit the link in my bio where you can find out more information about my products, my services, my courses, things of that nature, because I am truly here to serve. There's some free things there that I encourage you to tap into. Hey Taj, thanks for hopping on. Hope you had a great weekend. I sure did. So I'm excited. Make sure you share. I think there's a little airplane thing on there to share, to tag someone. Uh, we're going to have a great, great week this week. I'm going to be talking about doing your homework, doing your homework. And so I'm ready to hop into this topic. So for those of you that watch the replay again, my name is Tracy Davis, mysuccesszone.com, mysuccesszone.com. Welcome to the zone. So I'm excited. So we're going to be talking today about your inner game versus your outer game, your inner game versus your outer game. And so one of the things that I say a lot, I say a lot when I'm coaching someone, when I'm mentoring someone is you need to do your homework. Are you doing your homework? And a lot of people immediately think that's like, you know, when you're in school and your teacher gives you homework, but guess what? One of the things that you're going to have to do is realize that when I say do your homework, I'm talking about you. I'm talking about working on you. This has been a great year for me from the standpoint of working on me. You know, a lot of times when you can't travel, you can't do the normal things, have the events that I would normally have or whatever, I turned inward. I focused on me. How can I be a better me? And so I want to encourage you to do the same thing. Even in these last couple of weeks, last few weeks before we roll into another year, you need to spend some time uh, working on you. Hey, Antonia. Hello. Uh, consult Lisa. Hey, hi, hey. I hope you're having a great, great day. Thanks so much for hopping on. Uh, my goal is to give you some value today to encourage, to inspire, and to push you towards your destiny. So working on your inner game and working on your outer game. You know, a lot of times people don't do homework because they don't see that it's necessary. They don't feel it's necessary. You can kind of think about the people that are in school, the ones that skate, the ones that they never do their homework. They want to copy off of others, right? And that's what I see in life. We see a lot of people that are not doing their homework, but they copy off of others. You know, um, they feel like, well, so-and-so looks successful. I'll just do what they're doing. Right. And then what happens is they'll do what so-and-so, the person they admire is doing, but they're not getting the same results. Can you relate? Right. You know, as I was thinking, I said, you know, most of us have either seen someone successful, gone to a success seminar or whatever. I teach it all the time because that's what I'm all about. And we'll hear, you know, write your goals down, you know, take some action, evaluate your goals and repeat that. Right. We'll hear that and we'll hear that. And a lot of people, those that are disciplined, those that are excited, those that are motivated will do those things. The problem is what happens when you do write the goals down, but they don't come to pass. What happens when you put forth some action, right? And it still doesn't come to pass. That's when you have to evaluate, wow, I got to do some homework. I got to figure out what's really going on because those things that I just mentioned are outer game, right? Those are the outer game and they're very important. You do have to do some things outwardly. You do have to put forth action. You do need to write your goals down, right? You do need a vision board, all those things. But one of the things that a lot of us miss out on is if it's not happening, we just keep repeating and doing the same thing and getting wearier and wearier every single time. Can you relate to that? Am I talking right? Does that make sense? I certainly hope that it does. So if you are able to, let's go over some of the things that are pertaining to outer game. You need to identify a desire. What is the desire? What is the goal, right? You need to be very, very clear on that. A lot of people are not clear. They're foggy, if you will. They're kind of going through life, not clear, just trying to figure out what should I be doing? Why am I here? All of those kind of things. And they stay in that first 
phase or first level, if you will, right? So say you're a person that you know what you want. You're clear on what you want. You've taken the time to write it down, all of those things. But what happens when you move to phase two, which will be your beliefs? A lot of times we'll have the desire, but we haven't taken care of that belief system. Going to deeper to figure out what is it that I believe about my situation, about my life, about who I am. And so we never, we just focus on the goal and we just put forth action. We go for the goal, we put forth action. We haven't exercised, right? We haven't uh, evaluated anything like that. We're just kind of all over the place. And so what I want to say is, yes, you need steps to success. And as you hang out with me, I'll continue to share those outer game types of things. But what one of the biggest things that I have found is that we need to spend more time on the, the um, inner game. Okay. So if you can kind of picture um, yourself, your brain, you know, who you are, there's a conscious and a subconscious kind of picture it like an iceberg. Whenever you see an iceberg, you kind of think of Titanic or whatever. You only see a portion above the surface of what the ice, what really, how big the iceberg is. You never see all of it. Right. So you, let's just say from a percentage standpoint, you're only seeing 10%. That's kind of the conscious area that we are. 10%, the, the part that we're awake, we're conscious of, you know, turning on this live, conscious of reading, conscious of making a particular goal or setting a goal, right? You're conscious of that. But then there's some things below the surface, beneath the surface, that subconscious area is submerged, right? The part that you can't see where 90% of success is tied. And I'm telling you, if you get this, if you get this now, I'm telling you what, a lot of the effort, that extra action, all these things that you're continuing to repeat and it's not working, it will all of a sudden change because you're focusing on both your inner game and your outer game. Okay. And so what, what, when, when, how do you know when you need to focus on it? Well, you go back to what I said, if you have written down goals and you've put that up for the action, you've evaluated and you're still not seeing the results, then that means you need to do some homework. Okay, let's do some homework. So what I have seen is this. A lot of times we don't realize, have you ever had like a goal and it's like you feel something and you just kind of resist it? It's like, man, you're resisting it. It's like you're sabotaging it. It's like you're resisting the success. When you start to work on your inner game, you're basically working on giving yourself permission to succeed. You got to give yourself permission to succeed. Yes, you want it. Yes, you have the desire. That's at that conscious level. But unconsciously, subconsciously, there's something going on that's stopping you. Okay? And you probably know it. You probably can't identify with it. I know when I do studies on me, right, going deeper, I'm like, man, there's something I have to address. Okay? One of the uh, examples from one of my mentors, he talks about going on a trip to New York, right? And he said, you can have the best car, the best gas, all of this. But if you're driving to New York from your destination, uh, you know, and you're driving with your foot on the gas and on the brake, you'll never get there. And that's basically what a lot of us are dealing with. We're dealing with, I'm trying to get there, but something is stopping me. I'm trying to get there, but something is stopping me. And a lot of times we're thinking it's something outside, but most of the time it's something inside that you're pressing. You're doing the work. You're trying to go as fast as you can. You're writing the goals down. You got the vision board. You're doing all of that. You're speaking your affirmations but there's something stopping you, right? You're doing the press, the break, but you're also pressing the gas at the same time. You'll never get anywhere. And so that's what's happening with a lot of people. It's like, my goodness, I know I'm just as talented. I know I'm just as beautiful. I know I'm just as, you know, I have just as many gifts, talents, education, etc. Why is that person succeeding? It's probably beneath the surface. They probably learn how to release the brake so they can press the gas. And that's why it's important to tune in to, to hang out with me because in the zone, I'm going to help you with your inner game and also your outer game. I'm going to help you, right? Giving you some suggestions, giving you some resources, you know, telling you what you need to do so that you can find out why are you pumping the brakes? You're excited. You, you leave this live or whatever it is that you're doing and then something stops you. That's called self-sabotage, right? And so we want to make sure that we get off the treadmill of life. We're foggy. We get on the treadmill because you're putting, well, you, know, have you ever been on the treadmill? I was on mine this morning. You're on the treadmill, but you're not going anywhere, right? You can go as fast as you want. To. You can go uphill, but you're not going anywhere. Okay. And that's what I see with a lot of people. That's like, you know, I bought every course, you know, I've been to seminars. I spent a lot of money but I'm not going anywhere. I'm in the same place I was in January, right? And so we have to really get to the root of why am I, one, not clear, two, why am I not going anywhere, okay? And when we talk about evaluate, you know, well, we started comparing ourselves. We start evaluating, well, I had planned to be here, be such and such. I had planned to have, you know, 10,000 in the bank by now, 100,000 in the bank by now. I would planned to, you know, have this promotion by now. So you start to feel like you're a failure, right? And then you say, well, I guess I'll start over. 
You can do the same thing over and over again. And you're dwelling on the outer and not the inner. Am I making sense? Am I making sense? I hope that I'm making sense to you that you got to work on that inner game. It is so important to start to say, okay, beliefs. I got past phase one. I know what my desires are. I know what my goals are, but my beliefs, there's something in my beliefs. There's something that's stopping me. There's something that maybe even from childhood. Remember last week, for those of you that tuned in, I talked about getting to the root of it. Well, that's just, this is what I'm talking about. Get to the root of it so we can cut the root of it, right? So we can say, uh-uh, no more. I'm not thinking like that anymore. But you can't say, uh-uh, no more if you don't know what it is that's actually stopping you. So that's why when I say journal, that's when I you know, give you these assignments why it's important because we're not just doing it so we can say, I journaled today. I did my gratitude today. No, we're getting to the root of things so that we can actually have the success that we deserve and that we desire. For those of you that are just uh, tuning in, my name is Tracy Davis. I'm a business and success coach. You can visit me at mysuccesszone.com, mysuccesszone.com, or you can click the link in my bio and get all kinds of information on my books, courses, checklists, all that kind of stuff, my t-shirts. I do a lot. I'm multi-passionate, multi-talented, and typically that's who I attract to me. Okay. So i um, not going to be on here long. Typically I come on about 15 minutes or so pause to an answer any questions that you all may have. And then I come back on the next day, but I just kind of want to encourage you if nothing else, if any of this resonated with you from the standpoint, I know I'm trying because you know, I, I can, I can identify with that. Well, you're just trying so hard, you know, you're, you're doing the very best that you can. You're writing the goals down, you're praying all of that, but it's still like you're not getting the success then that means there's something inside that's going on. And it's not necessarily your fault. It's not your fault, it's there, but we have to dig it out. It's kind of like when you go to the dentist and they're like, my goodness, you, got, you need a root canal, right? So you have to, they have to get all that bad stuff out and then they replace it with good stuff to make sure that you're healthy, right? It's the same thing with your life. There's some bad things that may have been embedded in you as a child um, around negative people and you took some of that in and didn't even realize it. Could have been people that you admired, right? Something that you saw repeatedly and you took it on as yourself. If you heard I'm a failure, if you heard money is bad, if you heard that nobody has a good relationship, if you heard all men are dull, if you heard all of that, then that could explain a lot pertaining to relationships. That could explain a lot pertaining to finances, right? If you heard, you know, we big boned in our family, then you don't even fight to have, uh, to be healthier. I'm telling you what I know, right? These are inward things. And if you can do that homework, I'm telling you, your life can change. I know that 2021 is about to be amazing for me. I know it. I feel it in my spirit because guess what? I've taken the time to do my homework. And so I want you to do your homework as well. I'll kind of give you some assignments here and there, give you some thoughts here and there, but you got to be willing to go deeper even if I wasn't. Okay. So quick, quick, uh, recap here. I want you to see yourself as 90% below the surface, 10% above 10% is conscious. You're consciously saying I want to succeed, but subconsciously there's something you're saying is nope, no, we don't. We scared. No, we don't. We don't want to do that. Your brain is fighting you. There's a fight. There's an internal fight that's going on and I'm going to show you how to win. Okay. You want to uh, focus on, you know, you do want to know the steps to success. They are important. You know, anybody that's successful will tell you to have goals. They will tell you to uh, put forth action. They will tell you to evaluate them. All of those things are true. All of those things are important. Successful people do read. S successful people do uh, affirmations. All that's true. That's outer though. Okay. We're going to work on the inner. Okay. So this has been Tracy Davis. I hope you um, received some value today. I hope that you'll tag someone and guess what? I hope that you'll join me again tomorrow. Okay. So before we get off here, there, are there any questions, any comments, any things that I can hear? Yep. Absolutely. You are anything that you'd like to ask me real quick pertaining to inner game and outer game. I'll take care of that real, real quick. And then with that being said, we'll log off and see you again tomorrow. Any, any, any questions? Any questions? <laughs> All right, guys. See you tomorrow. Take care. You're welcome, darling.